Hello, my friends. So I just wanted to start with, since I'm lifting so much of his content from Twitter, uh, with uh, Grums's tweet here about uh, if you like the work I do reporting on black girl gamers, legal threats against gamers, and want to aid in my future legal joking fund, please subscribe. Absolutely. If you are on Twitter and would like to support someone who is definitely putting a lot of himself and a lot of work into bringing more information to us on what's going on in terms of AAA gaming and everything they're trying to do behind the scenes, give Grums a subscription. He definitely deserves it. Where I would like to go from there is I would like to talk about this tweet. For those of you who don't know, Gothics is a streamer, YouTuber. She was big on Twitch at one point in time. She's done a lot. Uh, she's very energetic, very interesting. I, I think she's quite fascinating most of the time. She's a member of the Walk Away campaign. Uh, she was once a heavy leftist, but the logic stopped logicking her and drew her slowly to what some would call the other side. Uh, she says here, as a former black girl gamers member, actually an actual member, I can confidently say these people are full of crap. They do not care about diversity. They promptly kicked me out for being anti-black, a.k.a not making an idol of my skin color and refusing to hate white people. I was harassed for months after the fact and received an onslaught of vitriol from many of their black members. You know how BGG responded? They blocked me and literally scrubbed my existence off their platforms. She does have the receipts. I do recommend you go watch her documentary. It's Gothic's documentary. It's lore.tv for that. Uh, or you can go to gothicsfilm.com and check it out. She absolutely deserves the, the respect and support that uh, we can give. Or, well, I should say check her out. I think she deserves the respect and support that we can give her. And she does go on to say, let me be clear, I have no ill will towards these people. And I'm always praying that Jay Ann and her crew will eventually have their wake-up moment, just like I did. Maybe this is it. Unfortunately, I doubt it's it, but I do very much appreciate her optimism in that regard. This is the most poignant example of how these people aren't what they want us to think they are. They don't care about diversity. They don't care about inclusion and they don't care about other people realistically. Their biggest fear isn't skin color, it's different thought. They put themselves in a group where they think alike and call themselves safe because they don't have to worry about being exposed to thoughts that make them uncomfortable. People like gothics who don't see themselves as a skin color are one of the scariest things to them. People who have different opinions are the scariest thing to them. They don't necessarily hate white people. They hate people with different opinions. Now, I'm not going to lie, some of them do actually hate white people, but I don't know any of those ones personally, so it's not like I'm going to be sitting here naming names or something. When it comes to diversity, in my opinion, the only diversity that really matters is diversity of thought. Diversity of being able to sit down and have a conversation from differing angles so that people can come to a joint understanding. One of my favorite parables, it's a parable about Three wise men, three blind wise men around an elephant, and each one can only describe the part of the elephant which they are touching. So the one at the trunk may be touching it, and he may say, oh, this is obviously a snake. And the one at the back may be touching a leg and may say, oh, this is obviously a tree. And the one at the side may be touching, you know, obviously the, the elephant's side may say, oh, this is the wall. With each one of them, they don't have a full clear picture of what they're talking about, but when they come together and each discuss what they touched, what they felt, and, and work together, they can come up not with a complete clear picture. They're ne they may never agree on what they were actually fully touching, but they can get a better idea of what it was they were handling at the time and maybe come to some kind of agreement where everybody balances and, and honestly for that for me that actually that covers a lot of my worldview in general I don't believe I have all the answers I don't believe you have all the answers I do think if we sit down and talk a little bit maybe you might come a little closer to my side and maybe I might come a little closer to your side granted there are some things that no neither of us will probably move on but hopefully we can come to an idea where we can work with each other. It's harder to do that in these days, especially with some people espousing some of the most disgusting 
rhetoric, there are some people you're never going to be able to work with or agree with, of course, but it doesn't hurt to occasionally sit down with somebody that doesn't have your same view on everything and have a conversation. The hard part is finding people who are willing to talk in good faith. That's what I got for the day. I hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will catch you later.